Hey guys, what's up? Allison here, and um, if you have seen last night's video, which basically looking at little um, um, little critters in the water the entire time with me talking, well, here's the um, video of unboxing. Well, not just any unboxing, this video has like we got a whole month of unboxing things, probably two months, I don't know, it's just like stuff that I hadn't, that I actually was able to not touch. Some things I kind of unwrapped, but I didn't open or watched. Um, I did open a few things, but they're not in this video. They will be in a separate video, like Kill Clowns from Outer Space, um, the DVD. It's going to be in a separate video because, well, for starters, you guys see the cover of it. Yes, I took it off the DVD case. But doing that with most of my movies, well, you guys see the cover of it. You guys see the DVD, what this looks like, and you guys see the menu. Definitely see the menu. You guys see all that, so that's going to be a separate video, and I also have another DVD that I got, but this one I got from Tony for like 5 bucks, that I kind of did too, but that's going to be a separate video too. Other than that, we got like a whole pile here, that's been like a month or two past. Like, we got something from Target, we got something from Stop and Shop, and also from, and we got, like, um, a movie from, like, the, um, Disney Movie Rewards, um, membership, not my membership, but Elizabeth's, um, I don't know why mine doesn't do that anymore. And we also have like the all store items and um today um Jessica and Lesbian went to the Facebook High School Comic Con convention. So they actually got me some things. Very interesting. And today my packages came, so that's exciting. And I also got a magazine. Well, technically, um it's not movie themed <laughs> for me that would be exciting but if it's movie themed or like animal National Geographic related but anyway um but it was set up from Rachel um a grooming um subscription anyway um First, we're gonna start with the Stop and Shop items. I don't have the whole set, unfortunately, when I first saw them. Um, okay, let's just do it. Okay. These two I hadn't opened yet. The Star Wars, but as you can see, based on the picture and the way Luke Skywalker looks, it's on the show. Mongolian, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bounty Hunter, you know, with Baby Yoda. I already opened the Stormtrooper, unfortunately, I'm s <laughs> I got excited about that. I unfortunately can't complete the set because the Bounty Hunter, it was like the first one that I saw when I discovered this at um, Stop and Shop, but I chose this one over him. And since then, I hadn't been able to, I hadn't seen it since. And these were like the, the other ones I got afterwards. I don't know if Baby Yoda's going to be there the next time I see it. Who knows. I might just get a Bounty Hunter action figure. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, like that doll. Who knows. Bounty's been an issue with me lately. I'm usually able to get a lot, like, movie trip a lot, but that has not been going well. 
Like, um, I have not been able to see, um, let's see, Shazam 2 or Rise of the Galaxy 3 yet. And, of course, I didn't see 65. But that, I'm, I bought it on pre-order, so that one is coming in the mail at the end of the month. And I'm not even sure if I'll be able to see The Little Mermaid soon. I think out of all three of them, I'm desperate to see The Rise of the Guardians. Speaking of Rise of the Guardians 3, I have this. I've been holding on to it for quite a while. Probably like a year, two years. I'm gonna say two years because um, Rachel, I saw it at Rachel's house when the salon used to be at her house. So, and I desperately, I desperately asked her if I want, if I could have it, especially the fact that it says limited edition. But lately, I've been thinking about opening it. Especially, like, with Guardians of the Galaxy 3 out. But, that's, like I said, that's a struggle if I'm even going to go see any of the movies I want this month or not. But, um, if you guys want me to open this one, please make, please press like, you know, liking this video for the Star Wars unboxing of this video and comment that you want me to open this like and comment if you want me to open this fruit um this limit edition galaxy of the god um Gal guardians of the galaxy volume 2 um fruit <laughs> mm. Now that's out of the way, um, let's go back to our Star Wars. Okay, well, this is the Stormtrooper. Um, when I first got it, I thought it was like an action figure, but it's not, because this is my Chewbacca. If you're curious, this is kind of like the older um, like stuff. Got it like from like, um, antique thrift store. They had like some extremely old action figures from like, like from a long time ago, along with comic books. And I got this one for myself and this one. And I got Luke Skywalker from, um, um, the Empire Strikes Back for Jazz, but, um, she lost his hand, uh, but I really wish she didn't do that, because that one cost a lot more than these did. A lot more. Yes. Okay, well, the difference is that the action figure this, he can move. Oh, and he also had weapon sizing clips with this. And uh, he has a stand, just like Yoda does. But for our stormtrooper here, he does not require a stand. And his arms just do that. His head does not. His his waist does, but I prefer not to do that, cause, yeah, there are times that I actually broke something by doing that. So, that's our Stormtrooper. We're gonna open, um, Luke next. Whoa, 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 we don't need anyone to see what's next. No, no, no. I know some of who would be really excited to see that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're opening look next, so... As you can see, it definitely comes in a nice box. What 
it shows what the figure looks like on the side and what part of it looks like really detailed on the box a very nice image of Luke Skywalker oh yeah I completely forgot about this tape and I have no idea where my scissors went damn it sorry I still have to do videos for my rinsing, well, I can't say rinsing new yoga shirt. It was last month. I just never done it. I only played with it once. Ooh. This is actually a two-piece two, two set. <laughs> Damn. We got Luke. So well deep he's so detailed. He actually kinda looks old. Man, I don't I'm not sure how to describe old in this. Cause I don't I don't have Disney Plus, so I don't know what how old or young he's supposed to be in the show. But if you look at the face, his eyes are kinda up. And he looks not so young, so I don't know, but the outfit looks cool. Okay, I gotta put his lightsaber together. <laughs> they should have made a bigger box. If this was gonna be an issue, in that way, you, know, you don't have to worry about losing the lightsaber. Uh, that's what Luke Skywalker looks like with his lightsaber, which is humongous. It's like half the size of him. But uh, I think the outfit looks cool. It makes me think of Anakin Skywalker, but it's not. I only think that because it's the color. Okay, we're doing Darth Vader now. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the the correct colors and stuff. I'm because one time Rachel bought like Pokemon Pokemon figures. And the colors were like so screwed up. They didn't even look like the Pokemons. She ended up giving them to me. Uh, but then she stole my Mew. Uh, so messed up. And I believe I had the original Mew. You know, one of the rarest Pokemon. So messed up. Taking my Mew in return of giving me some fake Pokemon. And seriously, they were so fake that they smelled like they smelled. Like, it, it would, like, if you had, like, sensitivity issues, or just someone who, like, just, like, germaphobic issues, you would not be able to. Touch them without washing your hands. Mm. That's a lot of money. Okay, that's Darth Vader. Oh, there's his. Good thing we don't have to um, put this together, which that's a good thing. We just gotta worry about putting it on his hand. I like that better than the way they did it for Luke. Oh, his head turns, but I'm not gonna do that. 
I'm gonna leave the head alone when it comes to that. But yeah, he looks amazing. Probably the best. These are probably the best Star Wars figures I ever had. Not including these two. I'm just saying, like, this generation of, like, figurines. Like, this is, like, old generation of Star Wars. Why, this is, like, new. Like, it doesn't require a stand for them to strongly stand on. Even though they stay perfectly on their stands. Like, so perfect. But man, so detailed. Basically just very as detailed as this. So basically, even though Disney owns Star Wars, um, the company who made this, probably Disney made them for this, Hasbro. I think Hasbro did amazing at it. I want to know... I'm not sure I can't be 100% about it because this is only 3 out of the 5. Like I said, it's going to be impossible to get the bounty hunter. Wait, completely impossible. And by the time maybe Yoda is gone, then it's definitely going to be impossible to get them. Other than that, The, these are the best that I got since I last bought fig, um, you know, like action figures for Star Wars. The best ever. Absolutely the best. Ah, man, I forgot to grab my Star Wars potato heads. Ah, oh, that was something else I never showed you guys. Oh, well. I'll do it in like a Star Wars tour or something. I will. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Give a like if you do. And, um, let's see. Like I said. Excuse me, guys. Amazing, awesome figures. Like I said. Give a like if you guys like that. And um, like and comment if you want me to open this. I um, really hope I go see this movie. Well, the third one, I mean. Well, comment if you want me to open this one. And uh, I was going to keep this a surprise, but... Give a like and comment if you want me to open this. <laughs> uh, the real Ghostbusters. A uh, action figure from the real Ghostbusters. So, yep. Comment if you want me to open this as well. Bye.